what's going on today YouTube welcome back to another video and in this video I'm gonna be this is my first ever destiny 2 video let's just get that in the air I'm super hyped uh, this game has held a special place in my heart for a very long time now ever since d1 I've been playing since d1 kind of got out of it for a little while I'm back into it now as you can see but this video we're gonna be talking about this bow right here the arsenic bite 4b it is an absolute monster I've heard um, some more people in the community talking about it it's one of the best energy bows in my opinion and will be one of the best in witch queen coming up in February um, so this is my role I have explosive head a uh, dragonfly with a compact arrow shaft and natural string with a stability masterwork. I just haven't masterworked it. Um, a impact. I don't know if you can even get an impact masterwork or accuracy or handling. Any other, really, masterwork besides stability on a bow is all right. Um, but I have a dragonfly spec on here as well. But why this bow is so crazy, what makes this bow right here so crazy is explosive head. Explosive head is really good on a bow. Y'all will see in some of the footage coming up here in a minute. I think I'm going to play some Dares of Eternity uh, just to kind of showcase what it can do. Arguably, hobgoblins are one of the most annoying vex to fight just because they can regen their health like that um, and go to that state of immunity. But uh, explosive head puts them down one shot no follow-up uh, explosive head is absolutely insane on this weapon um, but I've also heard that you can have explosive head on the right hand column and then rampage in the left column like I said I have dragonfly but rampage in the left hand column with explosive head in the right is an absolute god tier roll all right y'all I'm about to show y'all some gameplay with this thing right here um, and y'all <laughs> believe me when I say this thing's really good The great horse demands that you become our lucky contestants. To resist would be unwise on tonight's Dares of Eternity. I think that's so cool. Every time I hear him say that, it reminds me of like Steve Harvey. <laughs> every time or like how to how to be a millionaire or whatever whatever the show is called y'all know what i'm talking about though bear with me guys this is only like my fifth time trying this this is probably my third time recording this video so please leave a like um the footage not just not the footage the audio on both uh of my previous recordings um had messed up so i tweaked with a little bit of settings and hopefully this one comes out decent enough to post so if y'all are seeing this right now it did and i'm thankful but please show your support and at least leave a like all right spin the wheel baby i really gotta play this more this is really cool tonight let's meet the fallen That's another cool thing about this gun, or another another good perk, I guess I could say, is the draw time. It has a really good draw time, and um, <laughs> without the explosive payload, it definitely wouldn't hit as hard as it does, but I'm telling you, explosive payload is the key. It is the key.
the debuff on him. And guys, if y'all hear me sniffle or <laughs> cough, uh, hopefully I'll edit this video enough to where y'all wouldn't be able to hear me sniffle or cough. But uh, I am sick, so bear with me. And of course, we don't make them. Now I gotta run all the way back. Love that. Are you serious? Are you see twice in a row? Okay, I'm gonna actually try and time it this time. No, 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 no. Oh man. Oh. See, look. At least I have <laughs> proof of how bad my luck is, and it's being published to YouTube. Let me through! Please! Thank you. Can I- Could I go this way the whole time? What? Look at that dragonfly working. See, look how weak that left that yellow bar. It almost does... As much as a second precision shot. It literally almost does as much as a second precision shot. Almost 4k precision with 2200 explosive damage. Dragonfly is so satisfying. So satisfying. Reload. I hit him. Where you going, bro? Goldie, baby. Which one do you think? And the horse how we, how we, you. Which one we guess, peeps? Okay, I'm going back. Did I? I don't even think I got the buff. Like Indiana Jones right there. That was cool. Final boss, baby. I forgot about them. I got another wave. Not getting me that. Let's see if I can get some dragonfly damage right here. Oh no, they're like fanatics. They explode. Watch. I don't know if I can kill the hobgoblin. Let me find the hobgoblin. Right here. Oh, it's an overload. I'll take it. When you gonna TP, man? 
Are we gonna one face this guy? No shot. That damage was insane. We are gonna one phase this guy. Wow. We one faced him. Let's go. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. If y'all did enjoy the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and let me know what you think of this boat down in the comments. Even if you didn't, if it, even if I didn't have that good a gameplay with it, because we absolutely destroyed that boss, absolutely melted him, never knew what was coming to him. I promise you, this is the bow that is going to be used in Witch Queen. And I will be looking into another bow that is a primary slot bow. I think it's called the Biting Winds. That's on Europa that you can farm for. Um, there will be a video on that coming up soon just because I'm so interested in it as well. Um, but hopefully y'all enjoyed. If you did, let me know what you think of this bow down in the comments. Let me know what you think of Witch Queen down in the comments. Leave a like, subscribe. Thank y'all so much for watching. And I hope y'all have a great day.